Sometimes I use this to baste barbecue sauce on my titties. I'm just kidding. Just barbecue sauce on like chicken breasts. On this video my name is Mac Dizzle and today we are gonna be learning how to roll with long nails um for those who've been following me for a long time I never used to have nails I had like my little my little cabbage patch hands my little ogre hands but now I have these fabulous long ones a lot of people think they're longer than they need to be I disagree I think they could go longer I get requests all the time in the DMs of Instagram from you guys asking, how do you roll with long nails? Um, even if you have like shorter nails than this, this is still a good instructional video uh, to get some tips and tricks for that because I've been rolling with acrylic nails for about two years now. Um, I started much shorter than this, so I've worked my way up, but I'm like pretty solid at it. I'm not the best, this is the longest I've ever gone, this right here. But um, I was able to successfully roll a joint for a video the other day. So today I have these double XL Kush wraps, which is a blunt, and then I have these raw papers. So we're gonna try rolling both a blunt and a cone, or a paper, blunt and a joint. <laughs> Before we dive into that, tips and tricks on if you have nails and you don't know how, and you can't like reach your thumb in there to open this like your finger use this to pop it up a little bit and then follow back in with the actual finger the wine glass is no longer my aesthetic and honestly i haven't been drinking very much at all but There's a whole box of these sitting on my counter right there, so I figured why not. Today, while I'm rolling so that I make sure I stay nice and stoned during the process, um, I have this handy dandy little vape by C-Cell. It is the Dart X, um, and it's really just like an upgraded version of their original Dart. A lot of people think these look like- Wi-Fi isn't set up on this device. You can find instructions in the help section of your Alexa app. Did I say Alexa? Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted, this is like an upgraded version of the C-Cell Dart. A lot of people say this looks like Enjoy. I think that's what they, they say it looks like in Enjoy. I don't, I've never used an Enjoy, I don't know. Sure, uh, it's not, it's for weed, it's a C-Cell. And this one's kind of interesting. So it has this little button on the bottom where you can turn the device on and off so it saves batteries while it's not being used. And this little light indication if I'm not mistaken, I believe it shows you how much battery is left. Um, and then it has a little charging port at the bottom. Uh, but what's cool is once you turn it on, you do not have to click anything when you hit it. No, you know, I think this is a, um, a temperature gauge. So I think it has three different temperature settings, low, medium, high. And um, to change the temperature settings, you just hold the button down and it'll switch between them. Interesting. Please check out the pinned comment in this in the comments. Oh, also, if you're wondering why I'm shooting in my kitchen, none of the other rooms in my house are set up yet. I moved. Um, God, a lot of things have happened on YouTube. Um, since my last video, I have moved locations. I no longer live in that house. I know it seems like I move a lot because I do. Uh, I'm hoping not to move again for a long time. 
when I moved into this house, this house needs some work before I show it off. I need to throw some paint on the walls. I need to get some carpet torn out. Just some things need to happen. But right now we're in the corner of one of the, one of the corners of my kitchen uh, because it's nice. It's aesthetic. Look at this wood. Oh, this drawer. Oh yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I use this to mash potatoes. I also use this to mash potatoes. What are your preferences? Sometimes I use this to base barbecue sauce on my titties. I'm just kidding. Just barbecue sauce on like chicken breasts. But holy dick and balls, dude. Holy dick and balls. This thing hits hard. Sea cell dart X. And they have different colors too. This one's like the blue and white one. Joya had one and it was like purple and black and I was like, All right, let's start with a good old fashioned J. J. All right, pull this guy out. Um, something I do for J's always is I will roll a crutch. This pack of raws come with crutch inside. Some people call it a crutch, some people call it a filter. I call it a crutch. Um, And really my biggest tip is if, if you have nails is be patient. Don't be hasty with your movements. Understand that your nails are an extension of you. There we go. Sorry, if I'm looking up here, I'm looking at how it looks on the camera. <laughs> I'm trying to make this a good video for you guys. I've been kind of slacking on my content recently. I've been kind of lazy. Um, and you deserve better than that. So, all right, now that I have my crutch rolled, we're gonna take this paper. Something I try to do with the crutch is I try to leave it hanging off the paper a little bit because that's just gonna help um, and I keep it hanging off throughout like, the entire rolling process because that's just going to help with uh, tightening in the bottom of it when you pack it. So we'll go ahead and just roll this on there. Rolling it like this is a little bit more difficult with nails. So I just try to take some of the difficulty out by creating the general shape like this and just moving the weed around. Um, the bottom is always gonna have less uh, and you want it to like get fatter. Now, you're gonna grab the two ends and you're gonna do it so that your fingers aren't bopping into each other. You have to learn how to do it kind of sideways. Sideways. I, is this in focus? I tried so hard, you guys. Slow and steady wins the nail race, for sure. So now, here's the thing about the tuck when you have nails like this. I can't do a proper finger tuck. Um, I have to pinch and pray. So basically what I do is I will pinch this side and I'll roll it down like that. I'll roll, I don't know if you can even see it, but I'll roll the paper all the way down and I'll hold it down and then I'll just pray that when I roll over, there it is, there it is. So I'll try to show it again, I'll try to show it again. So. You're taking this side right here and you're gonna press it down onto the, the crutch and you're gonna roll it onto the crutch. And while you're rolling that forward, you need to bring this piece over and that's how you're gonna get the tuck. All 
Um, but once you have it and you have it tucked, lick it. And press that bitch down because there we go. Now we got that little seal. And granted, is this the tightest joint ever rolled in history? Absolutely not. But I am a firm believer in stuffing your shit. That's how I do it. I roll, I mean, my joints from jump with the roll aren't great. Oh my. But I can create a cone with a shell of weed, stuff it down, and by the end of it, I'll have a good fucking joint. And that's with or without nails. I cannot roll a pearled tight joint without stuffing. That is just not in my Rolodex of talents. Um, another recommendation is don't use this for scooping nails. I mean, you can. Um, I find a lot more success going like this going like this and picking up weed. And then the cool thing about these nails is they're so long that I can really use them to pack the joints very well. All right, tie this off at the top. Seal it, and now once you seal it off at the top, that little extra bit of you're gonna push that in and that's just gonna tighten all this weed. All right, so joint was successful. I hope I gave you enough tips and tricks. Um, really what you need to do is just be slow and steady and patient. The tuck is the hardest part and it's really just, you're gonna do this with your hands when you're doing it. You're rolling the tip, you're rolling the paper down on the tip with this thumb and then following it with the other side. All right, now for the fucking blunt. Let's roll up this wedding cake right here. It tests at 33%, which I feel is really good. It doesn't look that good, but the, the testing is very high. You know, honestly, what it comes down to is it wasn't trimmed very well. And when weed isn't trimmed well, it looks just not as good. All right, so I have not yet tried to roll a blunt with nails like this long. The last thing I ever tried to roll with nails that was a blunt was a wood, and woods are just a totally different situation. So with blunts, I traditionally start my tuck from the middle and then work my way out. So I'm interested to see how I'm gonna manage this with the nails, because I've not, I've not yet tried it, but I'm gonna try to give you tips and tricks as we go. <laughs> I'm that person that grinds up like a whole eight thinking like, is there gonna be enough? And then there's just way too much. So fun fact about these blunts, these are the blunts that I learned how to roll with. They are a little bit harder than a squisher because they do not have a, it's form. So squishers are already shaped like a cigar. So you just open it, put your stuff in and kind of re-roll it. This one is a flat, damp, very processed tobacco leaf. By no means is this good for you, but I just wanted to see if I could do it. Double XL Kush wraps. I do not roll. They come out pretty big, which is a bit much for me. I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna split it in half per se, but that's what I used to do. I used to split these in half and I rip blunts the same way I learned how to rip paper in school, which is you fold it, then you lick it. Hmm. And it came off perfectly. Okay, so some of the blunt wraps come with this little extra paper on the side. I don't know if that's meant to help with sticking or sealing, but I always rip those off. The least amount of blunt paper I can have, the better. Just grab it and rip it down. Blunts, I don't really do crutches in, so let's just have at this. Uh, 
Okay, I feel pretty good about this right now. So now, starting from the middle, start shaping your blunt. And I would recommend just doing this with one, one hand shaping and the other hand underneath just in case you drop it. You know what insult I would like to start using? Scallywags. <laughs> like, if somebody just does some like, shicey shit, be like, that fucking scallywag, dude. But I want it to like hurt, you know? I want it to be like, you know? <laughs> Is that too much to ask? All right, so I feel pretty good about this being formed. So now, I'm gonna use my nails to hold this part down, like this. Oh, I'm not. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna pinch it like that and roll it over. And then you can use your nail to kind of tuck it a little better there. But once you get that initial rollover, lick her down. And I have a um, technique with blunt licking, and it's you start underneath with your tongue, huh? and then you finish hmm, with your upper lip wrapping it around. The nails actually kind of come into handy with tucking the blunts on the side, no lie. Okay. And there's a blunt. Now are these the best rolled joint and blunt in the world? No. Will they get you high? Let's fucking find out. I didn't bring a lighter in here. Lighting things, ladies with nails, do not light with the front of your thumb. Don't do that. From the side. So, Dart X. <coughs> really, all I want to do is see how these burn, see how they do. I hope they do great. She hits. In case you'd like to see her. We'll confirm this one rips and it's not canoeing. It was hard. See how the joint did. It would appear that the joint is doing just fine as well. Didn't realize I was gonna be hot boxing my fucking kitchen. <coughs> I don't wanna brag, but I probably roll better than most of your boyfriends. <coughs> well, see, I'm not gonna get fucked up. This wasn't that video. I'm gonna be doing a hot box soon. I got a new car. <coughs> so I'll be doing that kind of video soon. This is just not the one, not one, no. I hope that you got some tips and tricks from this video. I hope you learned something. I hope we all learned something about ourselves. If you check out CISO, 
if you are a distributor of oil this might be a really good fit for you so look into it i'm not even getting close to hitting a blinker on that either like that's crazy anyways guys i love you um if you're still watching this video right now please comment scallywag comment scallywag make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you turn on your notifications follow me on instagram tiktok twitter what have you i'm on all the things that the kids are on i'm on all of them because i'm a fucking hip young person promise i'll have more more house area film area areas in the house to film soon <laughs> link in the co pinned comment for CISO. bye bye Keep it all the way trail. Really, I just see it, I call it. Never wanna switch, I kept it solid. If I'm anything, I'm real. Really, I just see it, I call it. Never wanna switch, I kept it solid. Nigga, fuck the way you feel. Really, I just see it, I call it. Never wanna switch, I kept it solid. And it is what it is. Really, I just see it, I call it.